So why do you have dragon as a as like an icon? Well, that um, that actually came from my daughter. Okay. Um, we had uh, okay. Jeff and I had uh, started our own. Uh, we, created our own observatory okay. and we needed a name for the observatory itself. My daughter is very much into how to train your dragon. So she came up with the idea of naming it the Dark Dragons Observatory. Okay. And uh, and as we were building things for our own observatory, um, club members kept asking us to make them for them. Um, they loved the, the products that we were making. We've got a roll off roof controller, a flat light controller, a power controller. Is this um, moving now on the... Uh, show floor you have it set up to move uh i was just finished the, finishing the setup on it um, oh, okay. and uh yeah but we decided to start a company to sell the things and so uh, this is the controllers all the, what yeah, do you got so here this is our roll-off roof controller okay um, it's a networked um controller so it does not need a host pc to run it has a built-in web server on the device itself okay um so you can operate it uh from your phone or tablet or browser uh -huh. it also works with ascom natively um there's no drivers needed for it uh, so it uses the new ASCOM Alpaca interface. Uh, uh, but yeah, we control DC motors with it. It's all DC powered. Because this is your motor right this here. This is the motor that we use on the small observatory. Oh. Uh, for larger observatories, we've got a much larger motor. Uh, this one right here. Yep. We've moved uh, 16 by 20 foot roofs with this with uh, with no problems at all. Okay. Um, it's a high powered 90 to 1 gear ratio and 600 <coughs> watt motor. It'll pull a stump out of the ground. It's It's a strong motor. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, uh, that's the roof control system. We also have our power box. Um, so this is for controlling power to your equipment within the observatory. Okay. Um, you've got four switchable um, 12 volt outputs, two switchable five volt outputs, two always on 12 volt outputs, four dew heaters, power input, and ethernet. The benefit of doing this is a standalone Ethernet device instead of a USB device. Yep. If you've got a mini PC that runs on 12 volts, um, you can plug it into one of these and you can power cycle your main computer if it hangs up. Um, so you can do that remotely without having to uh, you know, worry about losing connection. Uh, we also have our flat light generator here. Uh, we do indirect illumination for our flats and so it makes it easy to scale up to really large apertures because what we're doing is we're shining a light onto a flat white surface on the observatory wall. Poster board, something like that, something inexpensive that a uh, user can, can hang up on their observatory wall and be able to illuminate it and get really great flats. Punch so. your telescope right at it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so let me finish getting this set up. Yeah. So this is the built-in web page that's on the uh, device itself. You can do um, this from your phone though, so right? So you can do this from your phone as well. Um, actually, if you want, I can uh see if i'm connected to my network now and you have to, is it to connect it's not bluetooth but you have to do the um no it, it's network okay um and so oh. ah, cancel LG. all right now we're connected so we can come back here. So you have to do through Wi-Fi. So the devices themselves are networked uh, yes. with ethernet. They're not Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. um, we, we like the wired connection for that. But since I'm on the same network, I can still open the roof. Okay. So that's an app you download? No, it's, or, a, it's actually just a web page. Oh, okay. There's no app needed. Um, it's quiet. It's quiet. There's no supports on the on the outside of the roof. Yep. So when it closes, it looks just like a garden shed. Um, so it can you know you can get it past HOA and things like that. Um, if, you've, if you've got a neighborhood that requires something like that, we use uh, high capacity industrial slides. Uh, these are stainless steel with stainless steel ball bearings. Uh, we've got a full five foot extension. And you they, have to grease them every once a year or something. Um, uh, a little bit of grease every once in a while, but nothing that's uh, nothing that's too crazy. Uh, these slides will support 500 pounds. Our roof comes in at about 120 pounds. Okay. So uh, we've got uh, a lot of uh, excess capacity for snow load and things like Is that. Is there so. a uh, formula for how much overhang, like how much not, or, you know, or is that just based on the linear bearing or the... The slide itself. Self, yeah. yeah, that's the slide itself. This is the longest that we're comfortable going. Yeah. Um, anything bigger than that, you want to have something that has some outriggers and supports for the roof. 
Okay. Uh, the uh, uh, otherwise, once you get snow on it, it's gonna this start this shed would be what eight by eight, six by six, six by six. Yeah, it's just just big enough to you know fit a relatively small scope. You're not gonna you're not gonna fit a giant plane wave in it or anything like that. Yeah. But for the amateur that's tired of having to pull a line every night and set up in the driveway every night, this would be a great uh, thing to add in your backyard. All of our items are DC powered, so they're easy to back up with just a uh, uh, deep cycle battery. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. All right.